Now, I'll tell you who's not free, despite the injuries. Saquon Barkley, Christian not McCaffrey. Free. Now, let's talk about dynasty and selling these players. I know these guys for the past few years has, have been coveted. These guys, you can't sell them. They're, they're, there's no amount of money on the planet that you could push my direction in Dynasty that would make me trade one of these two players. But they're both pushing. You know, uh, Saquon will be 24 next year. McCaffrey, a little older than him. Are you <clears> trading <throat> either of these guys? And what would it take to move them? Rusty, I want to add a little more context here, too, because this this kind of ties back to what you were saying earlier about guys like Jonathan Taylor Thomas rising up, guys like Clyde Edwards Hilaire rising up, questions about Josh Jacobs, how high for him. Uh, we don't have to talk about Aaron Jones again, but this, this all kind of ties back to there's players that seemingly are going to get pushed up the board if they haven't already. Um, and now I imagine there's probably not a lot of people selling either of these players, Barkley and McCaffrey but I have seen oh. some crazy so so okay so may, maybe there are I have seen a lot of crazy talk uh you know after the injury people uh, maybe overreacting or miss you know uh, you know jumping the gun as far as what these injuries are so maybe it is kind of crazy out there I couldn't be slamming that buy button harder right now could not could not I I'll give you more than you want. Like <laughs> I, this is, I have not had either of those guys in my dynasty, any of my leagues. I got my first share last night going shopping for more. I'm trying to buy up all of them in all my leagues and I will potentially submarine this season to get both. And cause you know what happens in three months, fellas, you know, who's the one Oh one and one Oh two in startups them. Um, I, if you're a contender right now and you're looking at your running back spot and you're saying, Oh, like, I don't have much depth behind this. See how the next couple weeks go and potentially, you know, I, I'm not saying don't fight, but you don't want to give someone Saquon Barkley for 75 cents on the dollar. Like, because then you're going to look at that team in three months and say, shit, they have Saquon McCaffrey and like Jonathan Taylor and they're, and they're good. Yeah. And Dobbins and they're going to run this league for the next three years. And I, I get the argument that 2020 is always the most valuable year in dynasty or the, the current year is, but these guys, there's nobody like them. I mean, I love Jonathan Taylor. He's not he's not quite Saquon. Like So are are people by your estimation, Russie, are people overreacting to the injury news or what is suddenly causing mm -hmm. people to wake up and want to offload these type of caliber players? Well, it always happens just not with Saquon Barkley. Every year when guys go on art, people are willing to trade them to contend this year. It's just I mean, this never happened to Calvin Johnson in his prime. This never happened to all those wide receivers in their prime. So I, I don't really have any experience with this. I mean, Adrian Peterson's the last one I can think of where an Apex 101 in startups just was gone for the season. Uh, and I don't remember people selling him. So this is... It, this is a little bit feels like the inflated running back market is kind of taking hold here. And, and McCaffrey and, and Saquon are not, uh, it's making the dynasty rankings closer that Saquon's out for the year, but three months from now, he's my clear one oh one still. So yeah, and I don't know. I think that that doesn't change. That's kind of my theory too. I think that Christian McCaffrey and Saquon remain in that top three, regardless of what happens. But I think the problem with Saquon for people, and this might be part of the reason why they're attempting to sell him right now. Again, final three games of last year injured, then he misses the rest of this season. And the two games that he played this year, again, admittedly, tough games. Offensive line wasn't blocking well. Averaged a half a yard the first game. You know, four for 28 in the second game. Gets hurt, and, and you're, like, you're like, did he lose a step? Does he look worse? The people that can't rationalize away truthfully what happened. And I think you start to pair all that together with the fact that there's hype on Dobbins. There's hype on CEH. There's hype on Taylor. And you realize that you're holding this... This $10,000 poker chip, you're holding on to this thing and you're like, you know, I could break him for CEH and whatever. I could break him for 
Sure. Right? John Dobbins and so and so. You're realizing that you want to compete and you're concerned about what the future is for Barkley, even though anybody that's astute enough to realize it knows that Saquon Barkley is going to fucking smash next year and the year after until he's 29. He's going to be Adrian Peterson. He's going to age into the sunset. He's going to be fucking Frank Gore at 37, still running, you know, 149 <laughs> times in a season. So there are. There's seven years of Barkley left out there, potentially. You know, who knows? There's injuries. But the reality is there's a lot more Saquon Barkley left. But I think people can't get over the fact that if they have him, just like they have Christian McCaffrey, they're like, how how close to the sun can I fly? They think, sure. is, am I going to get burned? Are they going to bring in competition? Is he going to get hurt again? And the guys that have owned Saquon have been hurt by it when they needed him most last year. And, and this year, if you own Saquon, you were leaning on him and you lost him. You you made a great point here, and I will say if you're gonna trade him, him or McCaffrey, <laughs> if you can package it, if you can get like multiple future firsts and a win now running back, then yeah, like I I could you could talk me into that type of trade. You know, if you can get Derrick Henry and a future first and something else pretty good like i'd start to think about that and you might be able to get that or a joe mixon plus two future first or something like that like yeah like you can fire away with that i've seen stuff like that happen and and i'm game for that my my devil's advocate here would be saquon had two thousand yards from scrimmage in his rookie season and guys don't do that unless they're i'm not going to use the word generational because i'm going to get quote tweeted and made fun of <laughs> for being a loser uh but He's basically Bo Jackson, and how however long he's in the league, I am going to have full trust in him. Dude, you you didn't want to go down the generational road, but you tossed out a Bo Jackson comparison. So, with a three-generation. <laughs> he's, he's an every three-generations guy. Yeah. Fair. I mean, you are, yes. You could, you could dig back through his profile, and a lot of people are going to forget. Like you said, Russ, his rookie year, he had 121 pass targets. He had 91 receptions as a rookie in the league. So... People are are quick to forget sort of what he's done. And again, this is a guy that's not even 24 years old yet. He's still so young. He's still so young. I mean, what, Keyshawn Vaughn is 23 and a half already, I think. I mean, think about that. They're the same age. I'm pretty sure they're the same age. So the point is that Saquon is just so hyper young and so talented. And there's nobody in college football right now within the same Stratus not even close. It's not even there's nobody even close so to him. I suggest that I had a patron hit me up and, and he really wanted to go after Barkley and so he showed me his roster. And I thought one guy that's a really interesting player to try to trade right now is Kareem Hunt, because I think Kareem Hunt is at like a value peak considering his situation, considering the extension he signed. If you compare Kareem Hunt and picks or Kareem Hunt and players and sort of sell on that high, the guy that lost Barkley might think, A, I'm getting a very competitive player to fill my running back needs, and I'm getting picks it, you know with it I'm not selling Barkley I would struggle to sell Barkley just like I would struggle to sell Christian McCaffrey but well I mean what do you do times are tough guys want to compete we're only three weeks into the season you're telling me it's <laughs> over for me Jeffrey Wilson baby RB2 let's go <laughs> 